Judy Wambui, who claims to be the second wife of the late marathoner Samuel Wanjiru. After receiving results, she says, will shape the future of a seven-month-old son, Samuel Jones Kamau. After the death of the late Wanjiru, to Rienda Kotini, Nkapua Kot order to do the DNA, Nika, and we did the DNA. After Tumefanya, the DNA results ziritoka, na ilikuwa positive. We ask her why she opted to carry out the DNA test. Ngeteka pia mtoto wangu alikonsidue kama watoto wale wengine wake. Kama ni ugawaji wa maili pia ya kue there. Celebrating what she says will defend the rights of the seven-month-old named after the late Samuel Wanjiru, who died when she was only five months pregnant. Wanjiru or Kipruno, or maybe even Munyaki in this race. Proof. Analysis from Biotech Forensics in Parklands, Nairobi. Here, DNA samples of the concerned parties are taken and analyzed. DNA is a unit of inheritance, basically, biologically the basics. It's the blueprint. The blueprint for the people who want to know. Biological relationships. So for the case of paternity testing, you're, a man is trying to determine whether he's the biological father of a child. But the same can be said of any other kind of uh, biological relationships. So you can have maternity tests, you can have tests to check the nature of siblings, you can test grandparents, you can test uncles and aunties. Typically we collect a saliva sample from each of the participants and we use a cotton swab to do that. Then we go through processes of extraction and that is where we, we get the DNA out of the cells. So then we know the quantity and the quality and then we go to a process called amplification. Now amplification is basically a photocopying process. So once you've made your copies, then you come to the process of analysis. A path Sophie Mukwana, who has done this for four years, says more Kenyans are now taking. DNA profiling takes up to 14 days. Younger and younger men now are requesting uh, paternity testing. When we are reporting a paternity and say this man is the biological father, then we report it at a level of 99.9%. Uh, if it falls below that, then we say that this man is not the biological father of this child. DNA paternity testing has been on the rise in Kenya despite the cost. So why the sudden rise and in interest? The mothers always know who their children are, but with fathers it's not always clear. So, but what the new constitution has done is that it has taken a more critical look at the rights of women and children. We've seen people from all social classes from all walks of life and it is a it is a cost and we charge 20,000 at the moment and when confronted with such when you're doing organ transplants they have to test you know blood groups and blood types to, to determine whether you are a good donor or a good recipient and so a father would then you know talk to his children about this and they would be happy to assist him say give a kidney then it turns out that none of the children are biological relatives or biological children. But many Kenyans may never have the privilege to do it. There is only one government facility which does that, the government chemist. Judy Kosge, Citizen TV, Nairobi.